Hello everyone. So I decided I would just come and do a coloring page because I was trying to work in my grid notebook um, that I just, you know, parted and made two out of and everything. And I was frustrated. So I just said, you know what, let me just go ahead and do a coloring sheet and just talk about where I am because, I mean, that's the purpose of my idea of being on this YouTube page, right? To share me and my everyday and where I am and my own creativity. And most of my creativity is really um, coloring and drawing and painting. I'm not really um, able to do that whole, I don't know what you want to call it, calligraphy or writing or, you know, drawing or whatever. But y'all... All I'm saying is I bought a ton of things and um, this says color your way to peace um, and it's not that I don't have any peace right now I just needed to stop and regroup but while I'm stopping and regrouping I needed to just take a moment and just do something where I could do what I want to do right because basically my whole thing in doing my channel is to be able to color and paint and talk and have conversation and I realize nobody's going to be conversing with me while I'm talking but that's the purpose of comments at least that's what I think hold on my cat if you don't go somewhere little cat he unplugged the um what you call it, a little desk light but anyway um, that's the purpose of comments. The comments are for engagement, that you will be able to engage with me and I with you. And so um, I decided I was going to just color and have this conversation. So I already chose a page that I wanted to color. And I picked this book up a couple months ago from the thrift store. And it's brand new, but I guess they gave it away because it's water warped on this end right here. This end is kind of like it got water wet or something. I don't really know, but it still was in perfect condition in my opinion. And um, I just wanted to just go in and color. And this is the page I chose. I chose this one. Um, and as I was looking through what page I'm going to color, I was like, oh, okay, I'll just do this. And I'm not going to do all of the sections. I'll do some of them. But the thing of it is, is just to be able to share um, and post this as a long form video. Because sometimes I just want to um, have a conversation. And I still don't have a video editor for my phone. I'm not my phone. I don't have one for this. But not for my computer yet because I ain't chose one. And I don't know how to use the video editors really like that. So it's just like I just keep doing shorts and keep doing shorts. And I think all of y'all who watch my, um, my videos and things like that on my shorts. And even who viewed the two that I have up here and this one. Because um, I don't know. Without you, I don't have no reason or purpose to be here. But as I was looking at this page, I was quickly reminded about how I am looking at calligraphy all the time and trying to like just really focus on it and practice it because I want to learn how to do it. And most of the time, it takes take after take after take in order to get the video that you're trying to put up right on your short because you have to get it right and you have to get it within the 60 seconds that you're allowed and I kind of be like you know what I don't know how this gonna work and sometimes I have to delete the things that I put up or try to put up that means I'll be having all of these different video takes in my phone because I am um, constantly trying to do something that I don't know how to do but the things I know how to do 
I don't find myself doing that because it seems like that's not the thing that people watch when it comes to the shorts. And I know that YouTube has a lot to do with what gets pushed out to your followers and to people who may want to follow you. They have a lot to do with that. They control the algorithms and I get that. But at the same time, I'm just like, you know what? I got to keep going and I got to start on what I do and how I do what I do because that's the real thing. Like I want to do this type of, uh, this is, I don't know what they want to call this, but to me, this looks like what they teach us faux calligraphy, right? So if I would have blackened this in with a black marker, then that's how that would look. But sometimes when I'm doing it, it just doesn't look you know, the way that I want it to look because um, I'm not good at it. And it's frustrating. It's like how I look at my grandson. He can read. He's an 11, he's an 11 year old. He's on his way to sixth grade, which I'm going to be homeschooling him for sixth grade this year. And um, when it comes to reading, right, he doesn't want to take time to pronounce the words right and sound them out right he doesn't want to he just wants to read it and so he skips over all of the sounds in some words because he just wants to read instead of breaking words down and I'm always telling him no you have to make every sound work in that word and some sounds are silent but you still have to work on that whole idea and so he gets I guess like frustrated or maybe not frustrated he just doesn't seem to care and I use that illustration to say that that's where I get or the way I get when I'm trying to do this calligraphy thing because I don't I don't not want to learn it but I already want to know it if you get my drift. That's where I'm at with the whole thing. Because for me, it's so frustrating because it's like when I try to do it on a short, I'm wasting paper. And even if it's only one or two sheets of paper, or sometimes I'll cut that messed up part away and I'll start on another side or at the bottom or something like that. It's still one or two sheets. And before you know it, it's like, you know, 10 or 12 pages. And they add up. And I didn't want to keep wasting my paper. So I said, you know what, just go ahead and do something else that you know that you, that you, know you can do. And for me, it was like, just color. You know, because basically what I do is I go to Google Images and I call out or type in whatever I'm looking for and I go ahead and I sketch it out with a pencil on paper and after I sketch it out I color it and I do really well in my opinion I'm still not an artist I've been telling myself that for years you're not an artist you always trying to draw something and do something like this and you're not an artist Joanne but that doesn't stop me from doing it. And I like it. Because for me. It's like. You got to do what you can do. And if you're okay with how it turns out. Then that's okay. And I think that's how it is for YouTube too. You know somebody gets out there. And they think about what they have. That they can bring. Some people are true artists. They, they really are painters. They really are calligraphers. You know, they know how to do these things. And it comes to them with ease. Not to say they don't get frustrated or, you know, it doesn't give them opportunities to start over again and again. But some people are truly gifted that way. Where I'm not gifted that way. I have some talent and I want to use my talent. And I want not to waste my materials while I'm using my talent so I just decided that I was going to just color a page and have a conversation because sometimes 
that's what I feel like I want to do. And sometimes that's what I feel I need to do. Because people don't know where you are unless you tell them where you are. And I feel I feel like I've always felt like people can appreciate genuineness that comes from a person. Like your real is your real. And whether somebody gets it or not, you can't worry about that. But you can't not be real because you're not sure who gets you or who doesn't. And I'm at a place where I feel like, you know, I can't worry about, you know, somebody not getting where I am because there are many people who get it. They get where I am. They understand, you know, the struggle. Like my whole idea and concept was to start a home-based business. And I found myself in the last couple of days like truly discouraged already. It's like I have invested all this money and all these materials and somebody would say, why? Why did you do that? Why did you put all the time? Let me see something. This is pretty thick paper. I just want to see if impressions was happening on the page beneath. But somebody would say, why would you invest all this money into, you know, starting this home-based business idea on YouTube when you don't really know, you know, how it's going to turn out or exactly what you're doing or whatever. And I say this as an answer because one, I don't have any other marketable skills that work for today's world where technology is taken over and I don't really want to do anything else besides make videos. I don't know why that's all I want to do, but that's all I want to do. And I've been kind of in that mode and mindset for, I don't know, maybe maybe about six or seven years. I kind of been right there. I used to at some point make um, videos on Facebook, on my main Facebook page. I used to do a lot of Facebook Live. And I don't really know why my daughter said, I remember one day you said I would never go live. Right? And I looked around not long later, and you was going live. And I said, that's when I was pulling my Christmas stuff out of the closet and getting ready for Christmas. And I was saying, I should make a live video. I should make a live video. And I did. And at that point, I think my grandson was about four, maybe three or four years old. He couldn't have been three. He must have been four years old. And I was like, I should make a live video. And I did that. And from the day that I made that live video, it was like every week or every other week at least, I was making live videos to the point that it grew into a making videos like two and three times a week. And I was like, this is insane. And I had a lot of engagement on my Facebook page. Not like, you know, people would jump on when you go on live, but they would watch it when I wasn't live anymore. And I was like, that's so crazy. Like, why would they, you know, just watch it when I'm not here, but not get on when I am here? You'd see them pop in and pop out because the number is counting at the top. You got four watching. You got 15 watching. You have two watching like that. And then next thing you know, at the end of your video, it would say something like, you know, you had 17 people watching. And that just basically meant that's how many people popped in and popped out. Maybe two or three would stay on or one or two. And that's about it. Unless something was going on that I was capturing in the neighborhood. Like, you know, a fire or a car accident. You know, that was kind of like somebody had an accident and got out and ran and left the car. That kind of thing. I live in the city, so, you know, those kinds of things happen from time to time. But those are the kind of things that people would stay on for because it was like live. Or maybe the marching band was coming through or something like that. But all of that goes to say that that's where I think um, birth was given to me wanting to do YouTube videos 
And I still don't understand why to this day. Like, I don't really know. I don't have that much creativity in my thinking, but quite a few people that I know from my church and even my mother and, you know, some neighbors, the the people think I'm creative. And I'm like, I wish I were as creative as some people that I follow on YouTube. And it's just like, you know, you don't really know where people are or how they're looking at you. But I was I was quite discouraged this morning and I was feeling like, you know what, you you've bought all these things and you've not really grasped where you are with what you're doing right now. You're just kinda of doing a little bit of everything and I am. And and that's how I want it to be. I don't want to be niche down. I don't. I'm not looking to be in one particular niche because there are all kinds of people out there who like different types and forms of content. Some people enjoy stickers. Can you get down pooty pooty? Um, some people like to watch my cats, what kind of videos I put up for them. Some people like to watch, you know, drawing or coloring. Some people are really into listening to a conversation. And that's basically what I want to do again for the third time already on my long tent conversation uh, long term um, videos that's what I want to do I want to have conversation while I am painting or coloring or whatever like that and that's what I want so I decided that I was just going to stick to who I am and not worry about anything else because you know I don't know if I'm going to grow And get to 100,000 subscribers. Do I want to? Yes, I do. That is my goal. Somebody said, what is your goal? What do you want to do? How far do you want to go with YouTube? And I would love to get to 100,000 subscribers. And I'm growing very slowly. And they call it, you know, slow engagement or low engagement. And some people call it growing organically. Because you are putting up the content that you are com- um, that you are familiar with and comfortable with, and your followers will find you, and it's like okay, and I can go with that. And um, then there is the whole idea of you know just being authentically you. You know, I just want to be cleaning my house. You know, I have a couple things I need to do as far as, you know, video content that's coming up, like cleaning out the refrigerator and cleaning out the deep freezer and cleaning the fan. What you going to do with the fan? Well, some people don't know what to do with the fan. Cleaning the um, vacuum cleaner, you know, those kinds of things. And these are helpful videos and I have them, you know, kind of on standby because I haven't gotten to it because my whole focus every day is to do two um, shorts every single day two shorts and if I don't do two at least do one because I'm trying to build a community and I'm trying to keep at putting my content out that's what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to turn this into a home-based business and I can't get monetized until I reach 4,000 watch hours or 1,000 subscribers and I don't have nearly close to either one of those but I just started in February of this year and I'm doing okay right now I have 114 subscribers and it's July the 13th from February the 12th when I started And it could be that I didn't have that many either. That I was just, you know, still trying to get that many subscribers going. Because I'm on 8 or 10 or something like that. Maybe even 2 or 1. But God has given me some favor with the community out there who follow me. And I'm grateful. And I said, God, because can't nobody help you do this. Like nobody can help you do anything else except God. And that's where I am. I'm just trying to 
build a community of people who like to sit back and relax and watch my content and see you know where I am with it today and and unwind with me that's kind of where I am because when I've had a long day of just trying to figure out what kind of content I'm going to do and then sit here at this desk and try and get that content done and cook lunch and cook dinner or you know warm up something whatever that calls for and take care of the cats yeah because you got to take care of them too you got to feed them they got to eat twice a day got to scoop the litter box these things take time everything takes time and it's like by the time I finish doing those few things you know and then I have the idea that I want to do reselling online I have things that I got to read and watch other YouTube videos so I can learn how to do other things that I'm trying to incorporate in my home-based business like reselling, you know, and those things take time. And sometimes it's like, I don't want it to take no time. I just want to know how to do it and go ahead and do it. And it don't work like that, Joanne. And I know that. I know that. But I have to get, you know, my stuff in order. And I have to focus on making sure that I keep things together when it comes to what is it that I'm trying to do. And how am I trying to serve the people who follow me? Because that's big. You got to keep that in mind. And you got to focus on that. Because... If you don't, then that becomes a problem for you. So, I'm just right here. I was I was quite discouraged and I wasn't sure, you know, where I was. When I say I bought all kinds of things, I wish y'all could see all the stuff that I bought. Like, I'm today going to be sitting down at some soon point and... Um, going through all of my Amazon orders from I think maybe I'm going to say January yeah I'm going to say January maybe I started buying really for this idea in January it might have been December so I'm going to go back as far as maybe December of last year and I'm going to start um, writing down all of the orders by name and by uh, price. Did I put that in the wrong spot? I think I did. Well, I don't even know. This doesn't even look like the same one. This looks like this. Yeah, so anyway, let's go over here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start doing that today. That was something I had hoped to start yesterday. But I was still working on that keepsake booklet. And I know sometimes stuff looks like, why are you doing that? I'm always having these conversations with myself like, why are you doing that? You're wasting time and that's not important right now. And when I look at it and think about it, it is important because it's been like since early 2022 and mid 2021 that I've been collecting all of these quotes and things that I like that people have said and they all sitting in my phone and Google keep telling me you're running out of storage and you need to buy some storage and one drive is getting full and all of that kind of stuff and it's like well I don't really know what to say about that but I need to somehow write it in a book and do anybody know what I'm talking about when I say that you can write something down in a book and then you be looking around and you don't know what book you wrote it in? Okay. Because women be having all kinds of books all the time. We're always buying some type of journal and some type of, you know, notebook or Oh, this is cute. I'm going to use this for this. I'm really going to start now because I need to write this down. I need a prayer journal. I need a, you know, and all of this. And we keep buying all of these books. I remember one of my girlfriends and I had this discussion a while ago, you know, at least 15 years ago. And she was like, Joe, how many books you got? 
And I was like, girl, I don't know. Because I need a new one right now. And she just busting out laughing because it is the truth. Like, you can start a book and you can work in it for two or three days. Maybe a good week and two extra days pass it. And you thinking, okay, well, now I have to go ahead and focus on, you know, how I'm going to handle this. This is the same red in my hand. No, that's bright. And this one's dark. And it's like, um... If I go ahead and do that, then I can start here and I can do this and I can do that. And then you end up putting that book down because you got busy and some other kind of thought that you want to do and start and try. And the next thing you know, you need another book to start somewhere else. And you end up with all of these books. So I said, let me make me a flip book. And I made the flip book. Because I knew that it would be like a perpetual calendar type book for me. And I could just flip the pages, write the little quote down or the saying, and then flip it to the back side. And then I would have this book that I could just go to back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, over and over and over again as I needed to. And that's where I was with that. But then I started looking and thinking, you have all of these books. And since I messed this up, all oh, this gray be red over here. Um, you have all of these books. And I've designed a few of them, right? And named some of them. And it's like, why do you have a whole book called Dogs and Cats? Are you going to be doing just Dogs and Cats? And then I told myself, just because it said Dogs and Cats, Joanne, doesn't mean I have to just limit it to limit it to just dogs and cats but that's how I get trapped sometimes and it's not me just getting trapped it's the enemy playing all of these games in our minds right and he be coming up with all of these things just to bring about more distraction so that you can remain unfocused and unproductive and it's a problem it is a real problem and so I just be saying I need to come along and just share this out because this is, um, you know, what I do. I try to encourage people and I try to be transparent in a lot of ways when I feel it's a good thing to be transparent right here. Because people are going through different things and it's not, you know, it's not a joke. It's, it's different things going on in our everyday life that we don't really, you know, understand. And yes, we use um, social media as a scapegoat, a scapegoat to get away from some of the pressures of all of this everydayness. And we look at people painting and we look at people drawing and coloring and creating and all of these things that look like great masterpieces to us. And they are. A lot of them are. You know, it took a lot of hard work and time and effort and money and money. Let's not forget the money aspect because people have to buy these materials. It's not no joke. And the more that you use it, the more you have to buy, especially when it comes to painting. And the stuff is not cheap. But then where are the people that have conversations for us to truly engage in the comment section where where are those people at and that's where i wanted to be with my content i wanted to be able to have real conversations and people you know say yeah i understand and then you know they have these comments that they write about you know it's not just about having facebook groups you can have this type of thing on youtube and you can talk about it. That's what I want to do. I said and I keep saying that I'm going to have these stories that, you know, they always talk about you need to tell a story and you need to be good at storytelling and things like that. I don't know that I'm good at storytelling, but I'm good at being truthful and honest about what life is. And people don't even want to be hearing truth because, you know, they they don't want it. They want they want some type of mystery and some type of I don't know. I don't really know how you want to word the thing when it comes down to 
you know where people are it's like it's not about getting in other people's business or them getting in yours it's about real life connections and real life you know occurrences because things are happening in this world and things are happening in our lives because we live in this world and it's not just happening outside it's happening all around us in our homes and everything like that and so i just you know wanted to just come on here really and encourage myself and say joanne do something that you know how to do don't worry about that calligraphy in them books right now you got to keep practicing and you know maybe you'll just do this full calligraphy you know just do do the line and practice on where you're going to put the line don't even fill it in and leave it like that i was just thinking about that last night because again i don't mind learning but it's not so much as learning as it is wanting to already know it so I want to have conversations with you all. I do. I want to have conversations with you all. And I want you to be comfortable with the conversations. You know, because people have things they want to talk about. And people have things they need answers to. And I don't have all of the answers. I'm never going to be the one to say that I do. Because I know that I don't. But I do know that answers are here and available. It's just whether or not you want that answer. And I'm definitely a Christian. For those who don't know, I am a Christian. Um, not only a Christian, I'm also a licensed minister. I don't get on here to share that. I share God's word on my other channel. I have another channel. I've not been on it in a couple of months because I've been trying to get this channel together and um, start this home-based business here. And that's where I've been. So I've not really been on that channel, but it is Gospel Meditations with Joanne Howard. Gospel Meditations with Joanne Howard and there I share God's word out and um, I don't profess to be a Bible teacher but I do know God's word and I know God in a personal way and I share his word out by sharing insightful truths on that page but here I'm just you know just trying to do what I know how to do and that's you know that's my whole thing that's my gig here is to focus on what I can do and as this says never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God and that's by Corey Ten Boom and Corey Ten Boom was if you don't know and haven't heard of her before she was a refugee um, her and her family were in a concentration camp and she survived it her family did not but she did and why that was because it was God's plan he planned it that way to save Corey out of it and that he would use her in a mighty way so you can look her up Corey Ten Boom and um, read about her and understand something about you know where she came from and how she could make a quote like that because this is almost like scripture right because the scripture says in psalm 56 3 and psalm 56 3 i had to remember it by a song and it says whenever i am afraid whenever i'm afraid i will trust in thee psalm 56 3 and so I used to teach children's church. I was the director at my church for children's church ministry. So a lot of um, things that I know come from me being completely active in the church. And um, I taught children's school, preschool for almost nine years for preschool 
so nursery age three, preschool age four, and kindergarten age five for almost nine years. And then I was director of Children's Church um, for about seven years. And I was the coordinator for Vacation Bible School for seven years. And so a lot of that is my background. And I just, I didn't know I was going to be sharing any of that out today. But it's all good because it's who I am. And this is how you all get to find out who I am. And I don't have a video editor, as I said. So this is going up. And I'm going to keep making some videos like this on and off as I'm led. So that I can put some long form up. Because I know people want people want music. And they want, you know, transitions. And they want effects and all that stuff. I'm not getting into none of that. I'm really not. Even when I get my video editor in place, I'm probably going to put cap cut on my phone and then um, in shot on my computer. Maybe they have a cap cut version for the computer, but they have on the internet. Nobody knows if cap cut's going to get closed down or whatever. I don't really know what none of it is. But what I do know is that I don't have a job anymore. My job ended on June 30th by my own election so that I can prepare myself to homeschool my grandson. He did absolutely nothing last year in school in fifth grade. I worked at his school and um, he has ADHD and so he was running all around the schoolhouse um, you know not in class and things like that and that became a serious problem for him and so he didn't do very well in the school year at all for fifth grade, which means that he's not prepared for sixth grade education. So I have to homeschool him this year so he can at least get the foundation of sixth grade by reviewing some fifth grade material and implementing the sixth grade material. And that's what I'm doing, which is why I need a home-based business because I still need some income. And I know God is going to take care of me because he always does and he always has. And I trust him right there. And so that's not my true issue. But my true heart is to build this channel so that I can, you know, become monetized here. That's my heart. But not just for money. This is not just for money. Because even as I'm doing what I'm doing with my shorts and all like that. My prayer is always, God, if this is not what you want and I need to stop this, I'm going to stop. I'm not mad about one penny that I spent or invested for any of this channel work to be done. I'm not. I'm never going to feel bad about it. Like, man, I spent all of that money. I could have been. No, no, I'm not going to feel that way. There was a time in my life in season that I would have felt like that because it's like I was trying to make it happen and do it myself. But I'm not going to feel that way because I know what I can do. I can paint. I do pretty well at painting. And I have a few pieces here. And I bought all of these brush pen markers and white markers and white gel pens and all these things that the people use so that they can go ahead and um, put everything together in some type of aesthetic way for when they're painting and creating these journals, journal-like pages, they call them like front page and all that kind of stuff that they be doing. I bought a lot of that stuff. I didn't spend a ton of money on it, but I'm sure I spent enough money on all of the materials that I bought. But if God were to tell me, give it all away right now, I would give it all away. If he said, throw it all away, I would throw it all away. I mean, I might feel some kind of way later in my thinking that I had to throw it away and give it away. But I wasn't going to be upset about it because this is me investing in myself 
for a home-based business. If it takes me a little bit longer to learn calligraphy, then it takes me a little bit longer. But that doesn't mean that it hinders me from painting or drawing and coloring. You know, like I did the octopus, the octopus page the other day. I did not even know that anybody was going to even look at that. I was like, okay, well, why are you doing this? What What is this about? And I was like, um, it's just a coloring page. It ain't no different than whatever these people do in these kind of books. See, this is all the stuff I want to learn for the calligraphy pages. They do all of this. But I don't know how to do this stuff. And that's what I want to learn. And it'd be making me so stressed out. Because I don't know how to do it like this. You know. And this kind of stuff. You know. It don't have to be that great. But I know how to do this. I know how to draw this. I can look at this. And get a piece of paper. And I can draw this. I might have to erase a zillion times. But I can do this almost. You know. As good as this look. I'm talking about this animal. Now, to draw this whole page, I probably can't do that. But I can make a zigzag line and put some swirls to make it look like he's drinking some water. And I can draw him because that's what I know how to do. But it's just, you know, just really knowing what it is you're trying to do and trying to be in a place where you understand your own self and your own ability and then trusting God with the whole thing of it. That's where I'm at. And trusting God with the whole thing of it. Because I don't know. I have no clue. You know. I have no clue. You know. Times would pass. I would have been so mad that I went out them lines. But somebody came along. Whoever she was. Whoever he was. Somebody came along one day and said. Color outside the lines. So now they call it shading. You know, they put a little bit of green and then run the pink right in there. You know, and they call this shading like this on YouTube. How I blend my colors with brush pens and water pens and all of that. And I bought those things. I bought the water pens and all of that. And they call it shading, right? So I can just do that like that and that'll be fine. Don't nobody know no different. They're just like, oh, okay. Oh, that's how you do that. And so then you just come over here. And you do one of these because it's, a, you know, the same kind of deal. Bob Ross would say, this is happy little mistakes. That's what he would say. And I've been watching him for years. And it's like, okay. But I don't know how to paint. I didn't, you know, subscribe to his channel to learn how to paint. I just subscribed because, you know, somebody getting paid for it still in his absence from this world and um and I like him. I used to watch him on our on our um public channel television here or whatever. But you know that that's all we got is what we got. And what we get to share is what we get to share if we want to share it. And I'm right here just trying to show up for y'all and be here and be real and get to conversations. That's where I want to get I want to get to conversations and, and having some conversations. Um, that's where I want to be at with the whole thing. Because I think, you know, that's real engagement. It's, it's cool that somebody jumps on and say, oh, that's really pretty. Or, you know, that's very nice. Or you're so creative, you know. But for me, I'm not even trying to get to a place where I'm, you know, high-minded and... Oh, everybody loves Joanne and, you know, I'm doing something. No, I'm I'm not there. I don't want to be there because that's dangerous. I don't want to be there. I want to be appreciated and loved in this space. But I want to bring the value that you're looking for and um, and that you appreciate. But I'm not trying to make myself any person to be idolized and I wish I was you know good like you or whatever I said to God I said God if you teach me how to do something like how to use the video editor and I learned how to use that thing the right way and it's good right I'm a teacher to the people and I'm a teacher to them slow I hate when you need to learn something and 
the people who call themselves teaching it to you, they talk so fast that you got to rewind the first two minutes three times, you know, because you still don't get it. Because it's a lot of people, you know, maybe not in my age group, maybe younger, who can get it and they can get it real fast. But then there are a lot of people in my age group and maybe who are younger who don't get it. They, they don't get it, you know, and it's like, okay, and then you got to pay somebody to do this stuff, and I don't want to be, you know, that type of person that I have to charge for what I know. I mean, I'm sure that you can make money from these types of things, and that's good, but some things is called helps. And you just need to be able to help somebody because knowledge, they used to say, is power. And it is power if you're using it the right way, like to help somebody else gain it. But if you just have the knowledge and you're just trying to keep it all to yourself and make somebody pay you for what you know, that is a problem. That's a problem, in my opinion. Yes, you can pay for the course if you have a course or you can pay for some training if you offer in training but this stuff out here in this world in the social media online realm that people charge for is incredible i'm telling you it's incredible and i said to the lord god i don't want to do anything like that you know i want to use wisdom and i want to be focused and i want to be fair i do not want to be charging people you can't even believe some of these coaching classes that people, they charge $20,000, $18,000, $32,000 30, $32, for one year, nine months or something like that. And it's like, what? And when you go through some of them courses, it's probably no more information than you can get on the person's same YouTube page and you looking around and you out of all of that money and they sitting somewhere fat like a hog okay with that money that you paid them and people and people pay because they want they want to know they want to know and it's like the world is closing up especially since since uh COVID and everything is digital and online and everything like that. And you got to pay. You got to pay to know what you want to know. And they charge in big bucks. And you got to pay. And if I had the big bucks, I wouldn't pay. I don't mean no harm. I wouldn't. I would pay for what I want to pay for. I asked somebody online that I follow. I asked her. I said, how much would it cost? No, I asked her, could I, could I message her about a particular um, situation that I was trying to learn? And the person told me, I reserve my time of conversing with people for paid clients. And I said, oh my, I didn't say that back to the person. I just said that in myself. And then I messaged again and I said, and how much would it be if I needed to speak with you or I could speak with you for about a half an hour? And she said, $500. That's what she said to me. $500 for up to one hour. I was blown away. I was blown away. And people are doing that. People are making money on their jobs, working, you know, extra hard wherever they earn their living. And they're paying this money out to these people online because they want an online presence and they want to do a thing in a certain kind of way, I guess. And they're paying for it. And I've invested in myself by buying all these things that I have bought to use here for YouTube and to have conversations.
to talk to you all. That's what I've done. And if I ever get to a place where I can charge for something, my prayer is, Jesus, please help me to be fair with the people. And somebody might be saying, you are severely undercharging. But the Bible told me that little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. So I won't have to be charging nobody $20,000 for nothing. Because I'm not selling them anything but some words. And maybe a template to how they can download something and figure it out for themselves past that. Like, I mean, I'm just saying that's how I see it. And it doesn't knock anybody else if that's what their thing is. That's what their thing is. And anybody who might view this and decide to write some kind of hate mail or whatever, I'm just going to ignore it and continue in my lane because I'm not speaking negatively to anyone or about anyone. I'm just saying that it's not fair in my opinion. And for me, that's not something I would be doing. But if that's what somebody else is doing and it works for them, then that's what somebody else is doing and it works for them. And it's like, okay. But for those of us who, you know what I mean, understand where I'm at with that, then we understand where I'm at with that. Because it's money to be made and it's money to be had. And some people out here on the money to be had side of life they like oh these people got money so you know and because they have you know I don't know 150 250 787,000 followers right then you feel like because all these people following you or they feel like because all of those people are following them they must have the bag on the thing. But I'm here to tell you, nobody has the bag on anything except God. God can pour it in your mind and he can make that thing huge. The blessings can overtake you. Chase you down and overtake you is what the word said. So I'm just saying that I'm just surrendering all of mine to the Lord and let him have his full way in it because I don't know what I'm doing no way that's why I made this channel about myself in terms of me being me that's what my banner says just me being me or just being me me doing what I do that's what my banner says and this is all I do is color and draw and paint and clean up and cook and maybe go to the thrift store my favorite place to be outside of Walmart Walmart is an excellent pastime for me I love to go to Walmart and just be in there and walk around and do but I've done some awesome things I have I think this pattern is a little off I'm not sure how it came out but it's all right um I've written a couple of children's books and I haven't gotten them published yet. Um, I have a really awesome work that I've done um, for the children and I'll save that for an upcoming conversation maybe um, to be had later. But um, yeah, I got to just work where I am right now. And just keep going right there. Because who knows what the Lord will do or when. I'm just trying to be patient. And keep going and keep growing. And I'm glad that y'all are here. And I thank you for viewing this video and hanging out with me. In this video and in this small chat. And... Nobody ever leaves comments. Sometimes that's like, man, but I don't let it really get me down. I just say, okay, maybe another day. 
somebody will but I'm grateful for every subscriber that I have and for my followers and even for those who just view my content but haven't subscribed yet maybe you're thinking about it maybe you will I don't know if you will but I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel that maybe you'll share my my content out I don't really know I don't know how to do a lot of this stuff because I'm you know I'm not I'm not techie or savvy or any of that kind of stuff when it comes to social media I don't know but I'm just you know trying to do what I'm trying to do and I'm almost finished this video is on 55 minutes so I've been yet on here talking for an hour I didn't know that but it's okay it's okay I got all pencils in my hand and things so I mean I just sometimes get on this little rant or something about how things are and I was super discouraged I really was I was feeling a kind of way earlier and I said girl you better go color something and just change the picture or something like that so my pastor always say change the picture and so I had to get on here I don't see that purple I had I wasn't using this thing right here was I maybe I was yeah I was I guess so I had to jump on here and go ahead and just have a little conversation have a little conversation I got all kinds of things y'all I put that in there I couldn't see it um I got dolls I got all kinds of stuff I got so many dolls and so much dollhouse stuff but my house is packed up and I don't know where I'm gonna set the dollhouse out at and I said to myself girl if you pull that dollhouse out you might not ever get back to coloring and drawing because I mean it's just a whole lot and then I was thinking then I'm gonna have to try and script something I don't want to script anything this is not a TV show and that's how I feel about it I'm, I'm not scripting anything because it's not a TV show you know I just want to have conversations I might have you know a couple of bullets or something like that so I can know what I want to talk about when I get to that part but I just feel like you know being real having conversation you know open conversation is just a, a healthy thing everything is not about scripted everything is not and maybe that's what YouTube is paying people to do or whatever and I ain't sure whether that's what they paying them to do or not but I think it's more so about um, how many followers you can get and how long you can keep them on your page that's what I think it really is about and um, once you can do that for them I think that's where they really you know say okay you got these people and they following you they like you we're gonna push your content out to a few others and and I think that's what it's about because if somebody has 100,000 subscribers you can't possibly think that all 100,000 or even 90,000 or even 40,000 of them is watching all that content that that person sent out every single day. Now, I'm not saying that there are not folks who are, you know, truly following and they mean that everything you've ever put out or ever will put out, I'm going to watch it. They might not watch it today if it comes out today, but they will see it tomorrow. But you got to think about subscribers subscribe to all kinds of channels. All kinds. 
and they watching all of the people that they subscribe to. I know that because I'm a subscriber to a lot of channels. And that was before I became a YouTuber for my children's channel or my word channel or this channel. So, you know, it's just, that's what it is. But I'm grateful for y'all being here. I'm going to go ahead and put the date on here for 7-13-2019. Um, I'm going to put this on long form. And then I know. So this is what this page turned out to look like. And I'm grateful that you were here with me. And if you feel like I felt today, you know, and you're not sure, just trust God. Just trust God. Learn to trust God. And be intentional about being where he is and where he wants you at thanks for watching i'll see y'all in my next video over on shorts i guess i ain't put no yellow lines i did some up there so i guess i add them right there i see that now i didn't know how i was going to do it at first but i see that i added a few yellow lines I don't know where, but just add a couple. Don't matter. This was good for me. It gave me a chance to want to sit down now and read one of my books. I got three books over here. And I need to read something and just regroup. Thanks, y'all. See y'all on the other side.